Is my wig on straight? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a nice soft glam get ready with me with a little juicy story time. So you know I gotta give you guys a little tea, keep it spicy. So I got a lot of love on my soft glam post on Instagram and I promised one of my friends that I was gonna do a tutorial on the look. So here I am, keeping the promise. So this was a look. Let's get into it. I already primed my eyes off camera. I filled in my eyebrows with, of course, Benefits Precisely My Brow in number five. And I primed my eyelids, my skin tone, because I wanted it to be more of a soft glam. Normally, I like a brighter concealer to set my eye, so I have that little highlighted arch. So, of course, you know, like you guys already know, I use the Jackie Anna palette. Come on, like that was like a given. So, I'm going to go into. Edges in ginger. Don't judge my broken nail. And I'm going to go in with a Morphe M433 fluffy brush, just like this. And we are going to blend in my crease. So I really only used three colors for this, so it's a quick look. Today's story time is about the worst date. I've ever been on we're talking for a, a good minute and he actually went on vacation he was in Jamaica we were talking we even I think we even FaceTimed like we were talking we were like really getting to know each other before we decided to go out so we ended up going out um, it was nice we went bowling so it was a nice little date we had a good time I beat him of course because you know my bowling game is up to par no the lanes weren't up okay i'm going to just blend out edges and ginger a little bit more just so it's a little softer and then i'm going in with just like a plain fluffy brush to just blow it out because i wanted to keep it soft since it was actually three colors <clears throat> I ended up getting like a random phone call at like one o'clock in the morning, but I was sleeping, so I didn't see, I didn't hear the call. So I'm going to go into Zola's, which is this color right here. And then I'm just going to place that right on my lid. So I ended up getting that random phone call at like one o'clock in the morning and i saw it the next morning and i said to myself okay um maybe it was like a wrong number but then i was like a little suspicious because it's like after we went on the date i get this random like hours later and then it's one o'clock in the morning so it's a little suspicious but i was like all right i'll just let it go <clears throat> i didn't bother to like call or text the number because in my eyes i feel like if it's important you leave a message or shoot a text message i decided to just let it go and I was headed to work the next morning. And then the number, I think, calls me again. Like, two more times. And I was like, what is going on? And then I was like, oh, gosh, here we go. I was like, I knew something is going on. It was too good to be true. Because he was tall, he was cute, he had no kids, he had a really good job. So I was like, there's some type of baggage here somewhere. I ended up calling the number back. And then some girl picks up, and then she's like, oh, this is so-and-so's girlfriend. And then I was like, here we are. And I was like, well, I got to charge this one to the game. And she was just like, oh, you know, I just want to know if you guys are involved and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, no, you know, um, apparently he told her I was his co-worker. And I was like, no, we're not co-workers. <laughs> and while they were actually in Jamaica together at the time when we were talking and everything, they actually lived together. So I was like, oh, all right. He was like, oh, you know, I just want to know if you guys are involved because, you know, we're trying to have a kid. And, you know, this isn't the first time. 
I was like, no, ma'am. Um, nope. I was unaware of this alleged relationship. I wish you guys all the best. Block and delete. But the one thing is, like, she was mature. She didn't come at me in a disrespectful manner, like, cursing and things like that. So, like, thank God for that because I just didn't have the energy to do all of that. So... So that was a good part. I didn't have to worry about all that drama. It's pretty much the eye look. It's really simple. It's not even like the look doesn't need to be blended all the way up to here. It's just it's super basic. It's just a little bit of shimmer just blend it out and it was just like something really quick. I am going to pop on lashes and I will be right back to finish. It was an okay date, but it just turned out to be the worst date because then I just started getting like random phone calls from this chick and that ended up being her man. And I'm just like, uh, you should have you should have been honest. But I don't know, I guess he thought he could be the man. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I already prepped my face. I used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and soul sol no pore blem in my t-zone i'm gonna tap a little bit of my it cosmetics bye bye pores powder right in my problem area just for some added reinforcement I think my brows were a little softer in my post, but I kind of wanted to like have like nice arched brows today, so I just switched up my brows. But however you decide to do your brows, it's up to you. And I do have an updated brow routine coming. So I blocked everyone from that point, and I had no hit ups from then. Um, so luckily, I didn't have to worry about random numbers texting me or anything like that so i'm grateful but yeah it was like like a horror show like why would you want to put somebody in that position unwillingly that's the crazy part unwillingly it's different if you wanted to be like a side piece or something take what you know take what comes with it but unwillingly i feel like that's unfair so I'm using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation in Lagos 240 and I'm taking it on the butt of my beauty blender. my elf 16 hour camo concealer this is in the color deep cinnamon this concealer is so bomb i actually need to buy another one i didn't really drag this out i'm kind of using a, a couple different products i want to use like more affordable products today um there's like a couple you know high-end products but the majority are affordable because there are no like drugstore affordable bronzers. I lied. There are. However, they stiffed us on this CoverGirl uh, full spectrum bronzer. Like I think they pulled the whole line. It's not available anymore. And um, the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. So I have to use it sparingly. This is so unfair. I'm going with my beauty blender and blend this out. And you know what? I'm actually going to go into it with my black radiant stick as well to contour. Just a little bit because I had a soft contour. I'm going to go into my Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep 30. And you don't want to bake with this. You just want to 
use your damp sponge and place it right where you need it. Um, it's hard to blend out if you bake with it. So it's just you want to place it right where you need it and like let that be it. So I'm just going to gently place it right under my under eye. And then I'm just going to press it in with the sponge. So you see how smooth that looks? Bomb. I was following someone's channel and she used this and I was like, you know what? I wanted like a new setting powder. So I said, let me try it. my full spectrum so I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this powder I don't think it's my shade right now so I'm just gonna use a little bit of it and this is in the color 420 deep neutral yeah it's definitely not my color but we'll make it work I think it's a little bit darker now this is my mahogany bronzer that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Granted, it's not a drugstore, but I got it for a drugstore price. $9.99 at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to use my MAC 168 brush for my contour. It's going to swirl. I don't have any drugstore blushes and I use the same blush all the time MAC raisin so that's the blush I'm gonna go into I don't think I used highlighter that day so I used I think I used highlighter on my nose so I'm, that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm using the Jackie Aina Times Artist Couture, the bronze. The combo today is, of course, Espresso by NYX. Like, hello, that's a given. Nikki's Nude by MAC and Hot Chocolate by Fenty Beauty. So I featured this on my try on Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse haul. Sometimes I like to go into a lip brush to like perfect it. And now for the finishing touches, my Om Glow Spray in Incredible. look i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and my little juicy story you know a little bit of something a little tea but yeah as usual guys